during the Vietnam War here in Alaska. Most of the guys locally, friends of mine who were drafted and went to Vietnam, actually being Alaskans, the Army had a policy of putting them in as different companies because any two Alaskans in the same company could totally screw up the military. <laughs> and they kept asking for things in the mail like, you know, dried fish, talking fish heads, uh, really strange things coming through the mail, and they did it deliberately. There was an anthropologist, uh, Bill Irving, who found some old, worked mammoth bones, and he wanted to determine whether these mammoth bones had been worked after as fossil ivory by the natives who worked it, or whether this had been green I uh, ivory, that is, fresh ivory. And he let <coughs> One of our neighbors from China Ridge, who was in the military, who happened to be actually a quartermaster in the army, uh, he was in charge of one of those river boats on the Mekong, going up and picking up body bags and bringing them back. And the long distance patrol said, oh, we found an elephant that had stepped on the Claymore mine. And so they brought back the big, long thigh bones of the elephant in a body bag. And it, this was identified as uh, Sergeant so-and-so, uh, and another neighbor on China Ridge was identified as the niece of the <clears throat> deceased. And she flipped her wig, you know, she was not going to take the, <laughs> the body bag and bury it and let for Bill Irving to dig up and try. So somewhere in Arlington National Cemetery, Sergeant Kegler uh, is buried and can you see the future archaeologist who digs that up? <laughs> Jesus Christ they grew big in those days. Uh, Alaskans in the army didn't necessarily agree.